Now, South Korea's intelligence agency says it does not rule out the possibility of North Korea conducting another nuclear test following its missile launch. It also analyzed that the missile fired in the early hours of Wednesday morning was the most advanced ICBM the regime has ever tested. Kim Minji with the details. South Korea's intelligence agency says North Korea's latest missile is the most advanced ICBM that it has tested so far. At a parliamentary briefing on Wednesday, the National Intelligence Service was quoted as saying that it was an upgrade from the ICBMs the North has launched previously, flying higher and faster. The NIS said the distance flown was about 960 kilometers, with an apogee of around 4,500 kilometers. Given the high altitude and speed, it appears to be an improvement on the Hwasong-14. The spy agency's analysis is in line with Pyongyang's own statement, which it made hours after the test, claiming a successful launch of the Hwasong-15. The NIS said there were several likely reasons for the latest provocation to show that the North can hit the U.S. to protest the sanctions against it and to solidify internal unity. It also said the test was foreseen given that Pyongyang was recently relisted by the U.S. as a state sponsor of terrorism and that the regime has historically launched a provocation 70 percent of the time when it is warned of a response. The spy agency added that it cannot rule out the possibility of another nuclear test either, noting that North Korea's nuclear and missile capabilities are progressing. It said tensions could get higher should Pyongyang continue its provocations amid stronger pressure from the international community. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.